Fat little mountain man. I'm out here in the room, the fur room this morning, about to skin out this beaver. This beaver is the largest beaver I caught this year. It's not the be biggest I've ever caught, but it's the biggest I caught this year. Uh, she weighed out at uh, 50, 57 pounds. But I wanted to make this short little video just to show you something on trap sizes. Uh, I have heard that you can catch beaver in a 220. Yes, you can. Uh, well, you can. If that spring, both springs go off and its head is centered in that trap, you can catch a beaver in a 220 all day long, no questions asked. I'm not even going to argue about it. There's no need to. What you see right here is not a 220. This is a 280, which is uh, 8 inch by 8 inch. A 220 is 7 inch by 7 inch. This is a 280, and this is a very large beaver, at least from my neck of the woods. Literally, there's the side of the jaw, side of the jaw. That's an eight inch trap. Uh, if he had both, if she had both front legs out and diving, you might could get both front legs and her head in that 280. Uh, I generally save the 280s and the 220s for my otter trapping. But will a 280 catch a beaver? Yes, sir. And ma'am. All day long, all night, no questions asked. What I've got right here is a 330. <clears throat> a 330 is a 10 inch by 10 inch. As you can see, and do the math, that would be just two inches, one inch on each side. But you can see how much more, there you go. You can see how much more of the beaver can actually go into the trap compared to a 280. Will a 330 catch a beaver? Yes. And a 330 will catch a beaver and have the holding power that a 280 uh, doesn't have and a 220 wish it had. So in other words, will a 220 catch a beaver? Yes, it will. I'm not going to lie. And I've caught them uh, with 220s. I wasn't trying to. I was actually trying to catch a otter. And the beaver were small, 20, 25 pounds. 220, done deal. No questions asked. 280, a little bit bigger, stronger bars, stronger springs. Now, I can actually say the strength between a 280 spring and a 330 spring, I really can't tell a difference. Because if a 280 pops off in your hand in cold water, I promise you, you will not say, oh my goodness, thank, thank God it ain't a 330. The 280s are strong. They're just two inches smaller than mentioned. Your best bet is to have a, a mixed bag of 280s and 330s. If you happen to have otter also, you need to throw 220s in to your bag, all, you know, to go with the other two traps. But uh, I just wanted to show that compared to the size of a big beaver, what you're actually trying to do when you do trap uh, with a smaller trap. Yes, yeah, not but two inches, but look how much difference it makes. And like I said, this is a, a large uh, a large beaver. The other thing I wanted to address, almost a 60 pound beaver. If you look at its front feet, honest, it has more nails than it does foot. They, there are very, very tiny bones in this wrist. And if they are caught here or there, they really will, like an alligator, they will roll in a trap and they will break these tender, uh, small, thin bones. So what's better, front foot catch or back foot catch? Well, no doubt about it. Back foot's always going to be most preferred because... Uh, the bone that actually holds it on. This right here is very fragile. You need to catch them, arm catch them, if you're going for a front foot catch, in my opinion. But you see how small that is also. This is what I wanted to bring up. All right. I went ahead and pinned this out just to show how large this foot is. Now, I've got a ruler that I'm trying to adjust. Here we go. Now that, yeah. 
That is a legitimate seven inch spread on that beaver's back foot. Uh, every state is different. I cannot quote your state. The state I live in, water trapping, uh, seven and a quarter inches inside is the biggest trap that you can run legally in my, in my state. I've always said use the largest trap possible for beaver back foot catches. Now this beaver is, uh, do the math, three pounds shy of 60 pounds. Uh, I'm not oblivious to the fact that there are 60, 70, 80, 90 pounders caught every year. I mean, you get up 75 pounds, you're talking about an eight inch width. I mean, that's my hand laid on its back foot. Always use the largest trap uh, that is legal in your area. You'll never regret it. Uh, and this video is just to show you the, the size of a big beaver foot uh, and the, the size of the conor bear traps that you need to use to catch a beaver. The other part, uh, I was talking about the small fragile bones of the front leg. This back leg, well, ham hock leg, that leg starts and basically that's it. That his leg, what you would call a leg, is basically this. All of this is just ham. This bone that runs right here is like a miniature Louisville slugger. That bone is that big around. If you catch that beaver on the webbing across its pad and catch it deep here, if you catch it anywhere, with a four coil trap, larger the better, you have no problem uh, getting that beaver underwater. Uh, on the front foot, whole different story. I just wanted to make this short video on traps, trap sizes, what to look out for, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something uh, from it. And uh, I'll talk to y'all later.